nothing happening with our coffee. You gotta have it. Okay, guys, so first off, let's recap yesterday. We had a great start of the week. Crazy start of the week. Um, I warned you guys about the news yesterday. And look, like, I mean, the candle speaks for itself. Look at this candle. And look at these candles. Like, this is insane. The market dropped hard. Uh, Jerome Powell came up with some super hawkish news which made uh, US dollar pump. And because of US dollar pumping, we saw gold drop, Euro USD, all basically all pair, all currency pairs that was paired against uh, the US dollar dropped, gold dropped, and Bitcoin made some kind of crazy wick down. I'm gonna show you, yeah. Let's see if we can get this one on. Uh, yeah, this wick here. So it made, it made a cra crazy wick. Came back up actually. It looks like it would recover it and stay inside the structure. This um, trend that we got here has been forming for a while now. But what happened afterwards or during the night was this came all the way down to the demand zone. So Bitcoin down in the demand zone now. And um, yeah, to be honest with you guys, it's not looking good for Bitcoin right now. I think it's going to drop much more, but we're going get, to get into that. Let's first finish the recap. Euro USD, guys, we caught like, so I saw the pool, I saw the voting pool in the um, Telegram channel. I'm going to bring it up. So basically we have seven votes here. We have three people that took, that rolled the Euro USD trade all the way down and we had four people that didn't do it. So what I'm talking about for y'all that don't understand is we called out this trade yesterday and it went super good. It was choppy a bit in the beginning and then it started to pump down. But what happened was came down and hit uh, hit tp1 hit take profit one and then i told you guys to move down the stop loss and after that it came out and some of us it stopped us out because of due to spread so me it stopped me out with uh, two pips so two pips caught me and uh, after that I just boom smashed all our tps same thing with gold we had gold yesterday the full trade was from uh, 1844 until 1816 so here this was the take profit level so what we did was we caught let's see how many pips we caught yesterday so we caught about 280 pips am i delusional no 280 pips so we caught 280 pips on this one Guys, 280 pips just on one trade. That's that's not an everyday thing. Don't get used to it because that, that doesn't happen every day. But when it happens, it's a party. And this one we call um, TP4, yeah. Seventy-eight pips. What did I say? Two hundred eighty. So that's like three hundred and fifty-eight pips, if I'm right, right? Three hundred and fifty-eight pips, guys. That's that's like that's basically three hundred and sixty pips in one day. That's good work. So the last ten days we we caught the last t ten days we caught well over thousand pips. Insane. And even for y'all that got stopped out on this one, um, I think like the last was like three pips, maybe something like that, because we took risk off the table when we hit take profit one. And that's why I'm always saying it. We always got to take, uh, take risk off the table. Um, successful trading, pro uh, long-term profitable trading is always about risk management. You always want to manage your risk. You don't want to trade. You don't want to overtrade and you don't want to... Um, 
have too much risk on the table, all right? Because market markets can turn on you at any time and you always want to reduce that risk as much as possible. All right, with that recap, let's let's do like this. Let's clean up the chart and let's start from scratch. <laughs> 